Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to World of Tanks. This is me, these games with Object 140. Now I'm going to show you one gameplay what I had yesterday, and uh, in my opinion, it is pretty fun to watch. Really intense and um, interesting, I believe. Close calls a lot of times. So let's see. And I believe we can call this, uh, or we can put this episode to World Tanks Epic Battle Episodes, because, as you know, I'm asking gameplays from you. You can send your replays to these moments at gmail.com with um, ep epic plays. It doesn't have to be like 10 million credits experience or damage every game. It just could be really nice games, really nice comebacks, some epic stuff happening overall in the game. Just what would be fun for us viewers to watch. You can send these games to these moments at gmail.com, as you know. But let's carry on. Now, as you can see, I killed that leopard PTA, okay? I don't know what the hell he was doing there. Maybe some huge lag, disconnection, or some computer problems, don't know. But I got him. The sad thing is, after the first minute, I believe. Yeah, after one minute, I'm down to 325 HP, so I thought myself that this is going to be another that game, that quick dying game. Because yesterday, or I believe it was the day before that, I had just horrific luck with uh, teams, games overall, just, ah, it was, it was horrible, horrible day to play World Thanks. But it was three times experience, so so how could I miss it? Had to grind with some tanks. So yeah, that's why I did it. Now, down to 325 HP. I don't know why, but I find myself playing better when I'm down to like 10% of hit points. I don't know what's going on with that, really. It just feels, after that, I'm more... I'm playing more carefully. I am overall playing better, so should I go in like that every single game, get down to 10 HP and start doing work? <laughs> Maybe. I feel the same. I, I know I have. So this is pretty nice position for me right now. They can see a little bit of my how, a little bit of my turret, so not the easiest time to penetrate me, trying to penetrate me. And as you saw, bounced off three shots from e FCM 50 ton and the second shot from IS 7 already. Just trying to keep him tracked. But no luck. I believe our first shot did keep him tracked. The second shot did damage and the third one missed. Okay, not missed, just bounced. Basically missed. Because to hit, to penetrate IS 7, you have to be pretty accurate. Especially when he's angled. Like he was. A little bit. So, despite us being down to 325 HP, we have done 3.7 thousand damage already with 3 kills. So, yeah, uh, things are not looking so bad for us. Despite losing 4 to 5. Oh, 3, can we see him? I know Mouse Tank is in the middle, so I'm turning around just for that. Maybe he's somewhere close by. And there you are. Hello. Track shot. Uh, luckily, is not too good. Reacting. We missed the second shot. And who was that? Artillery? Or D5041 because I heard pretty, pretty powerful shot sound somewhere. Like E100s guns, you could be D5041 who hit the mouse, but now he's backing up. I'm not going in because I don't know, there could be tanks covering his ass. But after looking at the minimap, I saw object, both objects from the south east corner. Uh, Waffentrager and other staff southwest corner. So I thought I'm pretty safe. Let's let's work on that mouse a little bit because mouse is pretty easily circable, if that is a word. 
I do not, and now it is. So we could circle mouse to death pretty easily. I was thinking about that, but uh, D54, yeah, they, they were worrying me. Uh, now I know that nobody is behind him, so I'm just looking for opportunity to get behind him and uh, flank him. Do some damage that way. Finally, he's moving. He repaired his tracks. I wasn't too sure that I was safe here because he was getting one shot into me early on. So that's why I didn't want to stay there. Because I am one shot to him. I am one shot to, yes, to every single link in the game. So, have to be careful. One mistake could cost my life. Now, waiting for the mouse to pop up again, maybe. Maybe he's trying to f come down there between the houses. I mean. So I go looking for him. Always keep one eye on the minimap, and there he is. So now I decided to go around him. Maybe I could flank him. Let's see where his gun is pointing at. And good opportunity to circle him. Because most turn, turn speed is not the fastest one. Want to track him with damage, hopefully. No luck. Third side shot. Some help from my team could be useful because I don't want to stay out in the open too much. For too long. Uh, just because they still have artillery. I was playing pretty safe here, but better be safe than sorry. Because artillery can even splash me to death. So, <coughs> that was nice. Uh, mouse is dead. Now, Waffentrager and T54's last position is here. I know Waffentrager is at full HP, so that is pretty worrying. And T54 is at high HP as well. Uh, wow, bow, boss, sorry. Artillery, goodbye. Luckily we got down that artillery. Now, as you can see, D54 is, let's say, about 70% of his HP. And Waffentrager is at full HP. Now, how should we do that? I believe first time, it is safe to gap. I'm going to tell D54, go gap. Because um, that, that way, they are going towards our base right now. That way we can make them nervous. They don't know what to do. So we can possibly flank them. They are near to our base. But they're not going to yap. They're trying to get all the kills. Well, of course, when Waffentrager E100 is at full HP, you should go for all the kills. So, yeah, why not? Uh, what I'm trying to do here, I decided to go and try to flank them, because um, after I saw D54 up there, then I knew Waffentrager is going to be here as well. It not go he's not coming back. And now I'm just being stupid here. Let's speed up. <laughs> like freaking Penny Hills, so... Show. Now we started capping. It, show it showed two cappers, but it was a bug. So cap noobs, yeah, whatever, whatever you say. This is the best strategy right now. You are at full HP. We are... I am one shot to you and T54 is... I don't remember. Maybe. Maybe two shot or not. Uh, he asked for stopped gap because now we know they are coming for them. And uh, I said no. I'm just trying to distract them. I'm going ball steep. I don't care if I'm going to die. I just want to waste even two seconds of their time. If I'm going to waste two seconds of their time, this could bring us victory. Um, I was waiting here just to see where D54E1 is going. I can see Waffentrager is at the east line, at the zero line, as you can see on the minimap. So E100 is not going to make it in 20 seconds. The only guy who can make it is D54E1. And I was just waiting for him, waiting where he's going to be. Maybe he's going down here. 
So yeah, all I need is to waste two or something like that seconds of his time and to win is ours. And as you can see, enemy base captured. GG. First time, nicely timed cap. Nice, nice team play overall, I believe. And uh, yeah, pretty nice victory. And this is why I wanted to show this battle to you. I hope you enjoyed. Now what did we get? Master Bad's first class worthy game with 5.1 thousand experience tripled and 89 thousand credits with uh, tank that cycle or tank sniper. I don't know, I'm mixing them two up all the time. I don't know, some patch as well. So close to 6,000 damage overall with 5 kills and 1.1 thousand raw experience. That is pretty shitty raw experience for 6,000 damage actually. Weirdly low. I don't know why, but yeah. Terror T5041 did a nice game as well, 4.4 thousand damage. And Waffentrager, yeah, 3.6 thousand damage. So one clip for him. But T54, nice game. And our T54. Well, well, well played, good team play, nice timing, good game overall. So what else interesting in here? Shot fired, yeah, missed 10 shots or didn't penetrate. Missed 4 of them, but didn't penetrate 10 shots. Uh, damage blocked by armor, 2100 or 200, yeah, pretty nice positioning at the start. Bounced a lot of IS-7 shells. FCM 50 shells, so not bad, not bad, and uh, all the other stats are pretty basic. So this was today's so-called epic battle episode, and uh, yeah, as I said, it doesn't have to be, I don't know, mind-blowing experience or damage game. It can be a game like this as well, with really intense moments. Just maybe you have some epic plays to show us in one game. So yeah, just send your moments, to, not moments, your games, your replays to these moments at gmail.com. And maybe we can make an episode. So far, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Take care. Bye.